Okay, first thing here, yeah, like I said, just let me know if anyone needs anything. We're gonna go hip flexor rocks. All right, we're gonna, so we're gonna reach forward, think that back hip, drive forward. All right, we're gonna reach and hold, then coming back. All right, then squeeze that back glute, right? Drive that back hip forward, and coming back. We're gonna go five on each side here. All right, so reach, over one more time, extend. Good, we'll switch sides. Okay, same thing here. Extend that back hip, reach on over. Joe wants to know where your hair went. Well, Joe, it's quarantine, so barber shops are not open. So I went to the Lukacs House of Cuts, and they delivered for free. If the back's messed up, that's Christy. <laughs> All right, good. Next one here, we got groiners. All right. So hands are going to be inside that front foot. All right, back leg's going to be extended here. All right. We're going to reach like that, and we're going to switch all right, we're going to get five each side here. Excuse me, but if I miscount today, that'd be shocking. Never done that in person. Let's go one more time there, and good. All right, next one, we got quadruped T-spine rotation here. Don't need no pad. All right, we're gonna go five each side, hand in the ear, close up, extend, come back down. All right, so we're rotating five, get a good pause, come back in. Say hi to Kristen. Who we got? Kristen. Meredith. Reed. Reed. What's up? What's up, Reed? I was expecting the Merediths to be on here with Emery. Maybe next time. One more time. And good. All right. We're going to go add up to rocks next. All right. So one leg's going to be down. All right. One's going to be straight out to the side. All right, hands out front. We're just thinking take those hips, drive them back, come back up. All right, nice and slow. We're feeling a stretch through that long leg. Come back up. All right, from the side here. Make sure the back stays nice and flat. All right, we want to reach. Come back up. All right, we'll switch sides here. Blake's watching, no big deal. No big deal. What's up, Blake? Just trying to be like you guys, man. <laughs> Last one. Good. All right, now, we're going to go downward dog here. All right, a little yogi style. All we're doing, push-up position. All right, we're just going to extend, reach up, think heels to the floor, get a stretch. Come back down. All right. If you want to make this a little bit easier, we'll just do it on an elevated surface, right? So start at the push-up position, extend and reach, come back down. All right, we're going to get eight of those. We're going to get eight of those there. How's everyone doing? Good. Mal yeah. says hi. Hi, Mal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to get a couple band exercises now. We're going to grab our lightest band. All right, so some of you might have the mini black. Some might have the red, mini orange. Um, something that you can do most exercises with. All right, first one. We're going to go front raise pull apart here. Grab it about a triangle. All right, we're going to raise out front. Pull apart. Back down. Back in. All right, we're going to do eight of these. All right, my elbows are nice and straight. Right, right out front, about shoulder height. Separate, back down. I was wondering how I was going to be talking while training. I'm probably going to pant a little more than those guys do. Just 
being out of shape and stuff. Okay, next one. We're gonna go hitchhikers or bilateral external rotation here. We're gonna hold palms up, okay, thin band, one of them, all right? We're gonna pull those shoulders back, all right? And we're just gonna separate and pause. Back together. Separate and pause. Okay, we're gonna do 10 of these. Thumbs out to the side, hold, all right? Make sure we're not taking those elbows and bringing them out, right? We're pinning those to the sides. Shoulders back, all right, and just separate. Do a couple more there. Good. Okay, next one's gonna be dislocates. I'm gonna do this kneeling because our ceiling, not very high, all right? The dungeon doesn't get its name for eight foot ceilings. All right, it's about six and a half, about six in some spots. Okay, palms out to the back, back to the front. We're gonna get 10 of these here. Has Tommy said anything like stupid yet? No. All right, well, it's, must no. be training. Must be working, which is rare. Sorry. No. no I shook the camera. Oh, no. Let's go one more there. All right, good. Last one. We are just going to get pull parts. All right. Palms facing down, shoulders back. Separate, right back together. All right. We're going to get 12 here. One more time. And good. All right. I'll let you guys finish that up. All right. Since my producer decided to step away for a minute, maybe for some other work, I'm going to check in, make sure everyone's doing good. All right. Tommy's talking a little smack. Cool. All right. We're going to jump into the lift here. All right. Now, this first part. We're going to go squat to split squat, all right? So that means first set's going to be eight reps. We're going to do eight squats. We're going to go right into eight split squats, all right? We're going to do this with a band, dumbbell, kettlebell, body weight, if, that's, if that does it for you, all right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the light dumbbell here, all right? We're just going to squat. We're going to go eight reps, right? Pull those shoulders back, sit the hips, all right? We're just going to do eight reps here. Two more. Good. Now we're gonna keep that same weight. We can hold it here still, or we can hold it offset, all right? For example, if you're using a band, we can put two bands under that front foot, all right? We're just gonna add a little load to this. We're gonna go eight reps on split squat. Okay, so one foot in front of the other, okay? Nice and slow going down, back to the top. Five, we'll go three more. And switch. Same thing, notice right about 90 degrees on both knees here. All right, good control on that back knee. We shouldn't be bouncing. All right, light tap. If you got a mat, put that down. Seven, one more time. Good. All right. Next thing, we'll go to band here. All right. We're going to go staggered RDL. So it's going to be six on each side. All right. You grab decent resistance on this here. You can probably go up a little bit if you got it. All right. We're going to go six on each leg. One foot is going to be slightly in front of the other. Pull those shoulders back. Okay. We're just going to push the hips back till we get a stretch. Coming up. Now notice my feet are still hip width. The other toe is about even with the heel. All right. Let's get two more here. Again, this is six on each side. We'll switch that up. Same thing, all right? Slight drop step. Push the hips back. Coming up. Two more. 
Good. All right. Last one's gonna be 30 second plank. All right. Did that cut out? No. About 15 seconds here, guys. Ooh, sweat a little bit. All right, we should be finishing that up. And good. All right, so we're gonna go through that again. All right, for the next set of squat and split squat, we're gonna go six reps here. All right. So again, grabbing whatever weight you got. This time I'm gonna show you with a band. All right, so with a band, if that's all you got, we can put that in a bit of a front rack position. Kind of around the top of our shoulders here. All right, push those hips back, drop it up. Four, we'll get two more. Last one there. Now we'll stay with that same band for our split squats. All right, front foot. All right, get a little bit of band tension. All right, coming down, drop it up. We can also bring this up top. Coming down, drop it up. Two more. We'll switch that. Now, let me know if I'm going too fast for you guys, all right? Should be doing okay. We'll take that band. All right, we'll go right back in those RDLs. Remember, staggered stance here. All right, one foot slightly in front of the other. All right, we're just pushing those hips back. Coming up. Remember, we don't want to round that back out, right? We don't want to let those shoulders dump forward. Keep those pulled back here. Right, we're just pushing those hips back. Reaching up. One more time. And we'll switch. Good. All right, get back to those planks. We'll go 30 seconds here. All right, we're going to start three, two, one, go. Catch on my watch. All right, remember, stay nice and flat. Let's pull those elbows in, right? If we're trying to make this a little tougher, right, raise the intensity a little bit. Let's pull those elbows down, right, and pull those toes up. All right, we're thinking, trying to squeeze. Squeeze as hard as we can in the middle there. And again, if we want to regress, down to our knees, or we can just elevate the surface, right? If we want to go up to something, right? We can plank, plank at a little higher angle. All right, and relax there. For those keeping track at home, that was 32 seconds. All right, we'll go down to four now. All right, so we get those squats. Sit the hips back, drive it up. One the framer. Yep. One more time. We're going right into split squats. Bend that back knee, drive through. There's four. Good. Now for those staggered RDLs here, all right? If you want to use a dumbbell, same thing. Just stagger the stance. Inside hand, just like with those split squats. Push the hips back, coming up. Switch. We're rolling. And sit. Good. All right. We're going to get those 30 second planks and give you five seconds. Check to see how everyone's doing here. Oh, my mom's watching, so that's good. Hi, mom. 
And let's go. 30 seconds. Ten in. Halfway there. There you go. Make sure we're keeping that tension, right? Pulling those elbows down, pulling those toes up, right? Creating that good, good tension through that midsection. We'll get five seconds. This will be our last set of planks here. And relax. Good. Okay, simple here. Two squats, two split squats, right? One, two, right? A split squat. One, two. One, two. Good. All right now we're rocking through here. All right, we'll get back into that band or dumbbell. Get our last set of RDL here, then we'll take a second, all right? Push those hips back, feel that stretch. Right, we should be feeling a stretch through that front leg. All right, that front hamstring here. Same thing, switch that up. Push that hip back, feel that stretch. Drive. One more time. Good. All right, get a drink. Take a second. Starting to get a little sweat going here. Good thing I got the short hair. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we'll move on to some, some bumpers. All right, give us, a, give us a thumbs up when you made it through that. Kind of see how we're holding up here. Tommy, you're back. I don't know what that means. I think that was when you thought it cut out, or maybe it did. Oh, maybe it did. Slow down. Okay, Roger that. Yeah, maybe the maybe the call cut it out. Yeah. All right, I'll give you guys another ten seconds here. <laughs> So we're gonna get into some, a little bit of uppers here. All right, some lateral lunging. All right, so we're gonna go single arm bent over row here. All right, so what this is gonna look like, right, we've done our three point rows where we have our hand out front on a bench, right? We're basically just removing that hand. All right, so we're gonna hinge just like with our, our RDL, push that hip back. All right, we're gonna row, squeeze, row, squeeze. Well, we're gonna get between eight to 10 here, all right, depending on your weight. The same way I'm doing this with the dumbbell, all right, you can stand on a band. All right, I'll get one more here for you. All right, if we got a band, we can stand on it, all right, and do the same thing. All right, so I got my band tension, all right, I can row up, squeeze, right back down. If I want to make it tighter, obviously I choke up a little more. All right, so reach and row. Eight to ten on this. Each side, nice flat back. All right, so we could use kettlebell, dumbbell, band. Heavy object, no matter there. All right, next one's gonna be a lateral lunge. All right, as we finish that up, I'll give you another second. All right, this is just gonna be a good wide stance. All right, we're just gonna sit that hip back, right? We've done this a million times in the gym. Okay, push that hip back, get a stretch through that long leg, coming up, all right? We're gonna alternate sides here. If we wanna add weight to this, we can add a kettlebell or dumbbell. All right, we can hold it up top, push that hip back. All right, or we can hold it, all right, in the opposite hand. All right, and go back and forth there. Whatever's easier on that, or whatever's a little more comfortable given, you know, what object you're using. But we're gonna go eight reps each side there. So 16 total, alternate, all right. Give you another few on that.
before we get into the last one here, okay, gonna be hand release push ups. These ones are gonna be a little tougher than a traditional push up, right? We're taking that momentum out of it. All right, we're gonna do it here. We're gonna start in a push up position. All right, we're gonna go for time on this. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. So I'll start it right after I show you. All right, we're gonna control down, pick our hands up, drive away. Control down, pick them up, drive away. If we wanna make this easier, same thing, go from our knees, right? Control down, hands up, drive away. And we're going. 30 seconds there. This one we're just getting as many reps in as we can. All right? Got 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. We're going to go through that two more times here. All right, we're looking to keep pace. All right, now we know what we're doing. We're going three sets, eight to ten. All right, each arm. Get a good solid pause at the top there. And we'll switch it. Same thing, right? Good solid hinge back. Get that other arm out to the side for a little more tension. All right, we're keeping that core nice and tight. Two. Finish up there, right in those lateral lunges. I'll show you from this side now. Good wide stance. Right, we're just keeping a good straight leg, sitting that hip back, coming back up. Now, I don't feel like we gotta force a lot of depth on this one. All right, if we can only get to there, that's fine. Right, we don't have to think we gotta sit so low that we're gonna drift over that leg. Right, chest stays up, we sit back till we can't really go any further, then we come back to the top. All right, eight each leg there, or each side. Give you a few more seconds on that. Hopefully the pace is a little better. I know Tommy mentioned we were going a little fast before. You know, just a virtual training noob over here. All right, hand push-ups. All right, 30 seconds. Remember, good control, stomach tight, <clears throat> drive away. Kneeling version. Nothing changes, right? Don't let those hips sink. And we're live. 30 seconds. That's it. Keep those going. We got 10. 10 seconds to go. So that was two rounds there. We got one more. And relax. Good. We're going to get one more time through that. All right. Then we're going to take a little drink. And then we'll get, get right back to it here. All right. So single arm bent over row. Right. Eight to 10 each side, depending on your weight. Lateral lunge, eight each side. Right. 16 total there alternating, and then we'll go back to those 30 seconds of push-ups, all right? 30 seconds of these is gonna kind of be somewhere in that 10 to 12, maybe 15 reps if you're pushing it quick. Um, but that kind of gives you a number in mind to shoot for. But again, we want quality over quantity, right? So if 30 seconds leads to eight good push-ups, it's fine by us, all right? I'll give you five each here just to kind of show you. All right, we'll stay with it here. Just get a good reach and stick. Stick the top position. Right back out. All right, nice flat back. Getting some good lean. All right, we got through that. 
Back to lateral lunge. Wide stance. All right, that knee should be more at the bottom of the position, right? Knee should be nice in line with the toe. Come back up. Two more here, and we got our 30 seconds, okay, 30 seconds push-ups. Start in five, four, three, two, and we're going. Good control down, drive away. Ten seconds. Last one. And take a breather. All right, we we'll take about 20, 30 seconds here for a drink. Shoot us a note in the uh, in the line here in the comment section. Let us know. Same thing. A little too slow, too fast. Not talking loud enough. Too ugly, let me know. Take about another 10 seconds here. You ready for the next? You gotta yell at Mal for doing them from her knees. Mal's doing it from her knees? Yeah. Man. <laughs> I remember when Mal was a push up dog. Too fast for me, but Jeff's keeping up, of course. Jeff's getting after it. Respect. Aaron, do, do what we can, right? We're, you know, if you got two rounds through, no problem. Just try to keep your relative pace. So, all good there. All right. Let's get ready to get to this next one. I'm gassed, too. I'm sweating. This is good. All right, we're going to go seated face pull here. All right, so on this one, we're going to use a pretty light band. All right. We're gonna wrap this around our feet. Having some trouble here. All right, then we're gonna cross it. So we're gonna go 12 reps to the three second hold. So I'm forming an X. All right, I'm rowing high. I'm gonna hold one, two, three, right back down. All right, we're gonna do 12 reps on this here. So four, one, two, three, right back down. Get two more, and again, this is going to be one of your lighter bands, all right, especially with the tempo we're mixing in here. We want to make sure we get a good full range of motion, all right, so if we go too heavy on that, we're going to have some trouble at the, at the back of the rep. All right, next one's going to be a banded chest press. All right, so we're going to take a heavier band on this one. All right, we're just going to wrap this one around our back here. All right, now we're going to do good posture, stomach tight. We're going to press out. We're gonna come in nice and slow. Press out, nice control. All right, we're gonna get 10 reps on this here. Make sure we're getting that plus at the top, right? So we're not just keeping our shoulders pinned back and extending our elbows, right? We're thinking reach, right? Reach that out forward. Squeeze the back, same thing. Protract those shoulder blades out. Okay, at the front of the rep there. Let's call that two more. One more time, press, nice and slow, come back down. All right, last one here. Okay, we're gonna do a bird dog. All right, so it's gonna be five each side. Gonna get all fours position. Back's nice and flat. All right, our opposites are gonna be working here. So left hand, right leg, pause, come back down. Right hand, left leg, pause. Okay, we're gonna go five each way here. 
Make sure we're squeezing that glute. Let's get one. We're going to fly right through that. Let's get back to that seated position. Nice light band. We'll get two more sets here. That's what we're shooting for. Doing good on time. All right. Not that anyone's got anywhere to go. All right, so remember, squeezing the top, rowing about, I don't know, chin position. All right, three second pause. Right back out. Same thing. Let those shoulder blades move freely, right? Squeeze. Good reach out. Let's get 12 reps here. John Scott level of sweat right now. I'm dripping at the butt prints. Three second hold. And right in the chest press. Same thing, moderate to heavy band here. Whatever you can tolerate, but again, let's get good free movement of those shoulders. All right. Right by the shoulder blades. Good press. Slow coming down. Ten reps. Three to go. Good. Let's go right into those bird dogs. All right. So this this set's pretty simple. Not a whole ton of moving from uh, where you're at. You can do this all kind of one one spot. All right. So we'll just get right into those bird dogs, and we'll get right back to the top. Same thing. That's right, so a good pause at the top. Alternate side to side, five each. Let's go one more round and check in real quick. Spot mop in the dungeon, no doubt, dude. I honed in my uh, mop skills yesterday around the wood floors in the house. I'm all right. I've lost this, skipped a step, but we'll get back. Everyone seems like they're holding in pretty good. All right. We should be getting through those face pulls. Again, 12, right? Three seconds to the back. Good control back front. All right, band chest press, same thing, 10, good reach, right, good, good plus at the top, all right, we'll get 10 there, then we'll get five, all right, five of our bird dogs. All right, I'm give you guys about one minute there to finish. Again, don't feel rushed, right? If you need a minute, or you gotta cut down a rep or two, not a big deal, right? We're trying to, you know, we got a wide, fairly wide range of, of levels here. We wanna make sure the guys who can move are moving pretty good, and everyone else wanna make sure, you know, you're getting all our, our relative best, right? So, all good there. About 30 seconds. I hope you all like the dungeon. Not much to it, random wall. Some brick, I don't know. Squat rack coming, move some weight, about that. That's it. It's no river north, but hey, we play the cards we're, we're dealt, right, Ward? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, guys, let's take, a, uh, let's take a quick quick sip, and then we're gonna get into that last round here for the next 
eight, eight minutes or so. Give us a thumbs up if you could to let us know you're ready for the next round. Toro, what's up, dude? I know you got your work in this morning. Pop in. All right, Mal's good. Another 15 seconds or so, I'm gonna set up what we got next. All right, this last one. We're gonna need just a low, a low surface, all right? So this could be six to 12 inches-ish if you got a step you know, like a bottom of your staircase, that'll work. If you got a couple bumper plates, that'll work. If you got a low box, right, just be creative. I'm gonna set up a couple bumper plates. All right, so this last round, the idea here is we wanna be, you know, we wanna move in a pretty good clip. All right, so this is, you know, conditioning-ish, right? We're getting a little work in. But the idea here is just to get the heart rate up. All right, so first one is going to be four on each side. Okay, we're going to pull that knee in tight. All right, and we're going to do a glute bridge with a pause. All right, so we're going to go four each. So two, three, four. We're going to switch. Make sure we're really squeezing that hamstring at the top. Squeeze that glute. We're gonna pop it up. Okay, we're going right in the low box taps here. All right, there's a chance I might hit my head. We're gonna go 10 total. All we're gonna do is we're trying to just get a little pace going here. So we're up, we're down, we're up, we're down. I got five on that side, I'm gonna switch. Left leads the way. All right, this is some, this is some like Tommy Moore, Zumba, at home group fitness type stuff, you know what I'm saying? All right, so just keep going through that. And we're gonna go right into shoulder taps. Okay, opposite hand, touch opposite shoulder. If you wanna make that easier, drop the knees. Same thing, opposite hand, opposite shoulder. We're gonna go 12 total, so that's six each side there. Keep that back right, we don't wanna shift. We wanna stay nice and flat. Tap and go. All right, so we got 12 each. Once we got through that, we're gonna go right back into our glute bridge. All right. Tommy says Zumba rocks. Zumba rocks. Mm -hmm. I mean, someone's gotta do it, man. Let's get four each. Good squeeze. Switch that up. On our feet, again, find just some sort of surface. If we need to slow that down, right, not a big deal. Right, we just step quick. If you want to speed it up, right, get a little quicker with the feet. All right, a little, a little salsa to it. Not that I could dance, but I can do this, I guess. Then we'll go right into those shoulder taps. Nice wide base, right, keep those, keep those shoulders Square, keep the hips square, six on each side. I think that was 12. Let's try to get through one more time. All right, see what we're working with here. Tracy. Just chirping, just chirping Tommy a little bit. Thanks for popping in. Glute bridge. Four each weight. Stand that, ooh, starting to get a little, a little squeaky. Okay, stand that up. Same thing, five each side, right? Left, left leads the way. We'll come off, right leads the way. Get 
Okay, last thing here, we'll get those 12 shoulder taps. We can also do this, right, if we, if we can't do it from the knees, right, pick an elevated surface. So if I got my bench here, right, staying square, key to this, right, is that good flat back, right, good tight midsection. Let's get through that. Four each side, five each side, six each side. Pretty, pretty straightforward there. Again, idea, get that heart rate up, right? Move, exercise, exercise. I want you to get two, three, four rounds in. If you want to keep going, knock yourself out, get, get, get an extra one. But, uh, you know, that's our lift for today. I want to, just while we're on here, want to open.